Hello, welcome to Taste Buds, the show that takes you on a culinary adventure across the globe. My name is Chef Stone, and today we are staying back at home, right here in Nigeria. Hello, welcome to Taste Buds, the show that takes you on a culinary adventure across the globe. My name is Chef Stone, and today we are staying back home in Nigeria. On today's show, we are going to be making some plantain porridge and on the side, some beef kebab. Let's get cooking. Here are today's ingredients. Right, so we've blended our peppers now. And our, our plantain is now boiling in the stock. So we add uh, half a liter of stock in there and three pieces of plantain. I'm going to allow that boil just a little bit longer before I add my peppers to it. I'm also going to chop some garlic and pop them in as well. I'm just going to mince them. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm just going to scoop this up and just pop it in. And the smell of the garlic in there just adds to it. Right now, I'm going to add the peppers to it. And I'm, I've not added everything, just about three quarters of the peppers now. And I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to allow it to cook properly. Right, so now I'm going to move on to my beef. There we go. I'm going to transfer the meat beef into a pot. Now, normally I'd use palm oil for my yam pottage, but I'm using vegetable oil, which is the LVR option. So our beef is in the pot now, and we're just going to season it a little bit. So a little bit of paprika, so about one teaspoon. Some thyme, about half a teaspoon of thyme, black pepper, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, which I've grounded on, some curry powder, about a teaspoon of curry powder as well, and then some stock cubes. I'm, I'm breaking in two stock cubes in there. Cayenne pepper. Your salt is to taste, so you can add more later on once you put it on. So just like that. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it and then just boil it. I'm just going to mix that together. and I'm just going to pop that on. I 
I love Nigerian food and there are a lot of twists to Nigerian food these days. Normally it used to be the old boring stuff. It's always the same old rice and the same old swallows, the ebba, the amala. But nowadays, you know, you can add a bit of twist to it. You can fuse the food with some foreign food as well. And this is just going to be beautiful. All the spices smell so nice already. I'll just check on this one as well. We're gonna go for a break now. When we come back, we're gonna finish up our plantain pottage and then we're gonna finish our beef um, skewers and then we're gonna get them on the skewers as well. Welcome back. Before the break, we started off our plantain pottage um, and it's looking great. It's starting to thicken and that's just what we want. Now with this, if you have some leftover meat, you can pour it in. Uh, you, you can add some crayfish, all sorts of stuff to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the shrimps that I seasoned earlier. So I'm just going to pop that in. I love shrimps. I can have shrimps with anything. So I'm just going to mix that together. And that will soak up more of the juices and to get thicker. And we are getting there already. As you can see, that looks good already. I'm just going to taste that. Mmm, that's delicious. I'll cover that and let that cook a little bit longer. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes in total. It's going to cook just another 10 minutes and we'll be fine. Now our beef as well. I'm just going to check that it's nice and soft. Very nice, very nice and very soft. Now I'm going to drain that out and I'm going to fry it now. In time for our kebab. I'm just going to drain out the excess water. There we go. Time to fry our beef. And remember the peppers I kept earlier? We're gonna fry with some of those, the peppers that we um, blended earlier. And then we'll start with some vegetable oil. Now we're just going to stir fry it. So just enough oil to cover the pan. So about, I'll say about four tablespoons of oil and just enough to coat the pan. Right, so our beef, we're gonna start to fry our beef now. Now for the plantain pottage, I've chosen unripe plantain for this. I, sometimes I use ripe plantain, sometimes I use unripe ones. The ripe plantains, although they take softer to cook, sometimes they can be too sweet. And you don't want that too sweet feeling. It, it almost like, like there's sugar in it. But these ones are very nice and very simple. So I'm going to allow them fry a little bit before I pour the peppers in. Now I'm going to add the peppers now. I'm just going to turn that in the peppers and just cook them in the oil, let them fry in the pepper. Now we're going to use some skewer sticks for this. Um, but what you need to remember is if you're doing this outside, say for example for a barbecue, if you're using skewer sticks like this, what you need to do is soak your skewer sticks in some water uh, prior to putting them on the barbecue because they can catch fire, they're made of, out of wood. So soak them for at least 15 minutes or put them in the freezer, that also works as well before you use them so that when you put them on your flame, it doesn't catch fire. The aromas going around in this kitchen are just 
fantastic. Our pottage looks good. And I love that I use prawns. Like I said, if you, add any, if you have any assorted meats at home, you can add that to it as well. You can add some crayfish to it. There's so much you can do with this. And it's uh, very different from your normal um, yam pottage that you make at home. Right, and this is very different from your regular plantain pottage that you make at home. The shrimps also add a lot to it. And that's getting really thick now, which is where we want it. And our, the beef is looking good as well. Now I want to add, apart from the peppers, which I'm going to use with my skewers, I also want to add some onions to it. So I'm going to cut up uh, some onions as well. Okay. So I'm just cutting them into skewer sizes. So we're just going to skewer them as well. I'm just going to taste one of the beef, just to make sure it's nice and soft. Mm. Those skewers are going to be beautiful. What you can also do is you can put your beef in the oven instead of frying them. If you want to reduce them, um, if you want it to be a lot healthier, what you do is you just cover them in the peppers and you can skewer them down and just pop them in the oven. and our plantain pottage is just about done. I'm going to give you another two, three minutes to thicken just a little bit more. And at this point, you just want to make sure, you know, there's enough salt and anything else in it. You, you might want to add some black pepper, but that takes, tastes just fine. Now let's go back and check out that beautiful plantain pottage nice and thick look at that that looks so beautiful and our beef is done as well very nice I'm going to turn that off and then what I'm going to do now is my vegetables and my onions I'm going to stir fry them ready to go on the skewer sticks just a tiny little bit of oil, just about one tablespoon of oil. You just want enough to coat the pan, just like that. And just let it eat up a little bit. Okay, so our onions and the peppers. And we just want to stir fry them, just to soften them a little bit. I'll just let this we're just gonna pick out the beef from inside the sauce oh that's stir frying over there yeah and there we go so that's ready Okay, and that's just good. I'm just going to season them a little bit, just a little bit of salt here. And of course, black pepper as well. I'm just going to toss them in. And that is just right. Now we're going to do the skewers. Now remember, if you're doing this on a barbecue, Make sure you soak your skewer sticks in some water for at least 15 minutes before you place them on your barbecue. They tend to catch fire a lot. They're made out of wood after all. Okay. 
So that's beautiful. We've got our vegetables and our onions, and then we've got our beef, and we're ready to do the skewers. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some beef. So I'm just going to stick the skewer right through, and I'm going to go grab onion, and one color of the, any color at all, just like that, and then go back to the beef, and then stick it through again, just like that. Back here, onions. I'm gonna go with green now. And then back here, some beef. And then I'll go with orange. some beef again. Just like that, that looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And then we're just going to continue this process until we are done. Now, when we come back, we are going to do some plating and then we're going to do some tasting. I'm going to carry on doing the skewers and I'll see you in a moment. Now, I've finished up with my skewers and don't they just look beautiful? Now, seven days to guess, they're just going to love it. Now, I'm going to serve the rest of the food. So I'm just going to serve some of this lovely plantain porridge. right next to it. Right Let's clean this up. And there we go. And for the tasting for today, I've got a surprise guest for us today. And it is Adeoye Salem, a presenter from one of our shows. Mr. Adeoye, please come through. Come round, come round, come on. This way, this way, come. <laughs> right, Mr. Adeoye, are you ready for this? Here's Mr. Adeoye from Keeping Scores. He's here with us today to try out this lovely plantain pottage and the skewer sticks, the beef skewers. Shot of words, this is the first one. This is the first one from Mr. Adioye. It's really short of words. At this point, I'm actually going to talk to you. But um, I actually love the whole um, paparazzi, the, old, the, the way it's, it's been dished and all that. And you know, it's actually an African meal. And it is. I know, I know you love African food. I do. Yes, what's your favorite African food? Right now, with what I'm saying, I'd rather say this is my favorite. <laughs> That's a good one, that's a good one. Now, do you want to try it for us? Um, can I close my eyes and then? Uh, have a go. Can words describe it? I like that um, that um, the the spicy flow. It's it's really beautiful. The spicy filter, yeah. You, you're like, can you like? You're lost, actually. You're lost. You can't really find words to describe it. Can I have no. some more? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think it's good to say that Mr. Adioye loves this one. You can try the skewer steaks. Um, you know, I'd like to taste that as well. Should I start from here or should I start from here? Anyone you're comfortable with. And I hope I can come on uh, Keeping Scores yeah. sometime. Yes, yeah, sir. I have to settle the scores. We have, this, we've got scores to settle. Exactly. Are you going to go, have food on Keeping Scores? <laughs> so, we may have to do a special edition where yes. Chef Stone comes to cook for all the supporters of good sports. You know? uh, I'd like to buy a ticket to come for another one. We'll think about it. <laughs> We'll think about it, yes. 
fantastic. Now in a minute, we're going to give you our food tip of the week. Now time for our nutritional food tip of the week. Always opt for fresh or frozen vegetables instead of canned vegetables. Canned vegetables contain a lot of preservatives. Don't forget, you can go online and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can send in all your pictures, everything we've done today, try them out and send them right to me. If you have any questions, just hashtag AskChefStone and I'll be sure to answer all your questions. Until next time, bye bye and keep cooking.